Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the last nightcap of 2023. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my viewers, channel sponsors, patrons, everybody that's helped me with this obsessive YouTube channel of mine, and especially my wife, Deb, for putting up with us, for putting up with bits of swore from the house and sort of the, some of the things I do in our kitchen. I'm really sorry, but I know really she does enjoy it. Tonight's nightcaps, I do a bit of screw cutting. It's a big internal thread, 30 mil thread, I do that. And I make a start on a restoration job or a restore job of a steam water injector of a food and steam wagon. There'll be two or three videos um, about that. This will be the, the first part. Don't forget that tomorrow, obviously New Year's Day, and on New Year's Day, probably this sort of time again, tomorrow night, I'll be doing the draw for the plasma cutter with the built-in compressor from Rob at Extreme Plasma, and also the MIG 181 MIG welder from Rob at Artec Welding. I've put links in the description box of this video. The, the draw is free to enter. It's just a couple of mouse clicks and your name will be in. Um, you never know, somebody's going to have to win it. A couple of weeks ago, I machined this slug of steel to use as a press tool it goes on there and what the lad wants is a nut to fit on there I mean something I just screw cut that but at least he wants a nut to go on there I haven't got one I've measured it and it measures up definitely 1.5 pitch it's 30 so it's a 30 by 1.5 which is quite a common thread unfortunately I can't get a nut anywhere now when he was closed so I'm going to make a one now what I have done is, because I can't use this to try it on, it's too heavy, I've screw cut a thread exactly the same size as that. You should measure up the same size so I can use that as a test gauge for my nut. I'll get a nut out of that, a bit of male steel bar, just an off cut and the lad writes on what it is, MS, so I know it's going to be alright for the job. It's no good getting so out of skips and you find it's that hard, you can't machine the bastard or you weld it and it goes like glass. So that's a bit of nice bit of mild steel to make a nut to go on the end of there. I've zoomed in a bit so hopefully you can see the, the thread gauge is fitting in there. If I put something white behind it. Fits in there, absolutely perfect. Just checking that when I come to screw cut it, I can put the tool all the way through. It's not going to foul anything, which makes it nice and easy for me. Probably take some of the length off and it doesn't need to be quite as long as that, but we'll get a hole through it first. Five the size of the hole I need to cut the thread. Twenty-eight point five. Twenty-eight point five seven. I'm sure that would be five five. That would be good enough. Right, we're all set up to cut the 1.5 thread.
taking a little leg cut, I'm not in a green hurry to do this. You always keep your hand on the lever on your scroll cutting. Always. We'll be getting near now. Well, it fits my test piece. Whether it'll fit the job or not, remains to be seen. Not bad. It's a little bit on the slack, say, but for what it's got to do, I'm sure it'll be all right. There's loads of depth of thread on it. Just going to break our edge there, chamfer edge. And then we'll call it probably done. Right, that was do for me. The plate goes on. Lots of thread there. Probably machine tongue flats on it to make it easy for them to get a spanner on to tighten it and slacken it. But basically that's worked out not too bad. Not the best thread in the world, but it certainly is a it is a metric thread. Happy with that. I'll see the lads doing the job and see if I can do a little bit of video of them actually using this to pull this back wheel apart. It'll be quite interesting. It's quite a powerful ram. Plenty of thread on it. I can't see it pulling the end off that bastardly. Like. 